14 dog adventures run boy run everything you need is here under the sun everything you need is here under the sun hi my name is buck daniels from daniels creek kennels and on today's tip of the week, we're going to talk about the introduction to wool work and how it leads into backing work in the future with pointing dogs. With wool work with a check cord and a half hitch around the belly, um, I like to start these pups at about six months of age, leading them around, letting them get used to it. Uh, and then you can start going into, you know, putting a little pressure on the rope, making them stand there, styling them up. It's all about keeping a pup happy. And that's what we want to do with today's tip is keeping the pup happy and getting the results you want. What I'm going to show you first is how to make a half hitch around the dog's belly. And all you have to do is reach down, make a loop in your rope, and pull your rope through. Now at this point, the dog is going to be the one that applies any pressure by pulling on this, not you. And then just start by letting the dog walk around. All right. And gently telling him, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now if he stops, praise him up. Good boy, good boy. Praise him up. Let him know this is what you want from him. Let him walk around. All right, good boy. Now with this technique, I mean, you can teach the dog to heal with the same half hitch around its belly. You can teach him to woe. You can teach your three-year-old to walk this dog down the road because they don't want to pull against it. This is why I like using this, because there's not a lot of yanking and pulling. It's very easy for the dog. It's easy for the person working the dog. Now, when you think this dog has it, you can drop your rope, style him up, and ideally, you'd like to be able to walk around this dog. Whoa. Walk out in front of this dog. Whoa. I should be able to shoot a blank pistol. Whoa. Come back, praise him up. Good boy, good boy. And from here, we're gonna lead this into backing. The main thing to remember is keeping the pup happy, keeping the pup eager to wanna please you. And that's your training tip of the week. Let's head back to the hunt. If you'd like this video, check out our channel and subscribe to youtube.com forward slash sporting dog adventures TV.